yo, yo, yo sí creo en cierta manera que las personas eh, sí están reclamando que las marcas tengan un propósito y un propósito y un compromiso pues con, el, con, con algo. Hoy en día eh, los gobiernos eh, nos han dejado un poco solos, eh, entonces las marcas sí tienen una responsabilidad en, en tratar de eh, contribuir en algo, ¿no? de, sea cual sea la causa. Yo sí creo que, que las personas y los nuevos compradores sí están reclamando un poco eso. Eh, si es festivalero o no es festivalero, eso lo juzgará cada quien, pero lo que yo sí creo es que si las marcas toman eh, eh, una posición en favor de alguna causa, pues sí vamos a hacer del mundo un lugar mejor. I, look, I think, without starting to sound like a strategist, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of data that says that brands with brands with strong purpose sell more. Yeah, there's a lot of data that says people are going to buy the people who are going to choose to buy brands uh, when there's a clear purpose and there's a clear value. Uh, and it's and it's and it's and it's more and more increasingly important. I think the challenge is is that we've got to we've got to kind of separate. We've got to look at a couple of things. We've got to separate them. I think the first thing that we've got to look at is we've got to make sure that it's not opportunist. And I think one of the big problems is who's who's benefiting from this. Yeah and. More and more, and particularly, I think it's been a lot of yeah, a lot of press in the UK in this last week about uh, about brands' connection with with pride, with gay pride. Been a lot of connection, a lot of stories about brands and gay pride. A lot of a lot of stories around brands rebranding their labels uh, in the rainbow colours. And I think the conversation is like, that's great, but what are you contributing? What are you as a brand doing? Yeah, and I think so. That's so. That's you know. So that's a really important question, and I think that people are waking up. I think people, not the in, not the industry. I think people out there in the real world are saying yes. Purpose is important. Values is important. But like, show me what you're going to do. Show me what you're going to actually do to contribute to that cause, because otherwise, all you're doing is borrowing equity from them. Make you look cool borrowing from that community to make your brand look cooler. So I think that's very important. I think the other thing that we've got to think about when we look at juries and we look at awards is it's sometimes it's, you know, pieces of work which have got a strong purpose in them are very alluring. They're easy to vote for. And, you know, this isn't the NGO awards. This is Creative Advertising Awards. And sometimes, you know, Juan Ho and I talk about this a lot with younger creative people sometimes, and you'll see that it's less about the idea that they're attracted to and more the cause. And I think we've seen a lot of work this year that I feel like, particularly with some of the Grand Prix, I'm not going to mention names because they're friends, but there's some work which is one, and I'm like, it's a nice piece of work, but it's not a Grand Prix, and what makes it a Grand Prix is because you've led in an element of cause to it. And as an idea, as a creative idea, is it a Grand Prix? I'm, I'm not so sure. Son tiempos difíciles para el liderazgo global. No hay un líder global eh, como lo había, lo había en el pasado. Y los líderes que tenemos, algunos, eh, son líderes hacia causas negativas, ¿verdad? Este, vemos líderes que deberían tener un rol un poco más responsable eh, tomar eh, este, posiciones muy fuertes contra los eh, migrantes o sabemos que hay gobiernos que toman posiciones muy fuertes contra eh, ciertos eh, grupos de preferencias sexuales que no son permitidas en, en sus países. Entonces cuando no hay, hay estos vacíos de liderazgo eh, es cuando las marcas deben, deben eh, dar un paso adelante porque es lo que la gente está esperando y, y decir no momento es que esto sí está mal esto sí este, debemos corregirlo o debemos apoyar tal o, o cual causa y creo que la gente lo está premiando al, al adquirir al comprar estos productos las marcas que se están quedando ahí como que ni fu ni fa eh, no les va a ir bien o sea las marcas tienen que este, decir eh, hoy en día cuál es su posición no pueden ser ahí como yo paso agachada o eh, cada vez cada vez los consumidores exigen más eh, como decía John ahora, dime tú cómo estás contribuyendo a un mejor mundo. 
it's the world is fucked up, yeah? <laughs> Trump, Boris Johnson, uh, Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro, Maduro, you know, it's like Maduro. Maduro. It's everywhere, yeah? This are the, the people here, the people in our industry. You know, we're, 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 we're probably more liberal. We're probably more conscious, socially conscious. We're probably more ecologically aware. So for us, it's a, this is a time where we feel like we're losing. Yeah? We feel like the people that we like, and the people that we want to be with, are on, are on the losing side. You know, and we never, you know, if you go back to Obama and the time of, we all thought we were winning. We all thought liberal values would win. We thought it was a natural, a natural progression. Yeah, to the, it, the world was going to get more liberal. And now we're suddenly, we're suddenly faced with like, that's not, that's not true. That's not going to happen. So I think it's of, that's why you know that's why we're reacting, that's why we're kind of there's so much work that we're pushing out there that's fighting back against that. We're using our voices and our platforms and our creativity to fight back on that. And I think that's I think that's I think that's great. I think it's you know fantastic that we are doing that and we have a responsibility to do that and to, to help you know to, to help uh, the work that we do make the, make the world a better place. End of story. I think also you know like. There's a, there's a duality in advertising, a, a contradiction uh, for creative people, particularly. It's, we love creativity, but there is a commercial capitalistic side that we wrestle with. It's, and that duality, I think sometimes we have to balance it with doing other work. That, uh, it helps our conscience sometimes uh, feel better. So, but you know, we, I'm allowed to mention the work that we, you know, some of the work that we've done. You know, we did this amazing piece. Juanjo did this amazing piece in, in Mexico and Costa Rica, called Rubbish Rubbish. And it's fantastic. It's about social awareness platform about helping people understand you know single use plastic, and that's fantastic, great work. You know, and we should, we have a responsibility to do that kind of work. So. Mm -hmm.